Good morning and welcome back to another Wisdom Wednesday from the No Bullshit Now Club support. If you're not already in the group, go ahead on Facebook and join the group. It's called the No Bullshit Now Club support and it is a place that does exactly what it says on the tin. You don't have to be a nail pro, uh, tech, you can be a beauty professional, there's lots and lots of information in there and these videos are generally only accessible through that group. This one is going to be public and um, popped on publicly because I think it's quite an important um, discussion but the weekly Wisdom Wednesdays are generally only accessible through the group so go ahead and join and um, we'll get right into it. So as you've seen the title from this um, Wisdom Wednesday and it's generally from my car on a Wednesday because I am on the errands run is um, preparing for the holiday rush tips and tricks on how to stay sane and avoid burnout at our busiest time of the year so let's get started so uh, we are at the end of November now but this can be watched back at any time if you've already done some of these fabulous because you're already ticking boxes off which is ideal so the first thing that I want to add on this list of things to do is to set your working times and your working days and your working hours and stick to them now we've all been in the position where we started out if you're a beginner if you're one of my students if you are early in the days of your beauty career or in the first few years you're going to set your times and dates and then you're going to squeeze someone in then you're going to squeeze someone in then you're going to squeeze someone in and by the time you stop for christmas you are burnt out you're not going to enjoy it you're not going to have time with friends and family you're going to want to sleep you are going to start up again between christmas and new year or in the new year whenever you go back almost resentful of your job and that is not what we do this for so really being strict with your boundaries here is super duper important get that stuff scheduled out in your diary in your booking system and stick to it let this is the time to let your clients know these are the appointments i have and that is it once they've gone they're gone book in advance get booked up early if you have so many clients that you can't fit them into your working hours it's time to put your prices up it is time to drop off the lower side of your business pricing wise if you can't fit them in because you're taking on walk-ins or you're taking on new bookings you need to prioritize your rockstar clients your loyal clients your superstar clients whatever you're calling them they are your priority bookings i imagine for more established techs more established beauticians or whoever else is in the trade lash techs and all the rest of it i imagine that by now you should be december full um and i, I certainly hope so for you um, but if you're not this is how you should be approaching the situation so the next thing on the list is to take stock of what you've got in your salon, in your home salon, in your mobile kit. Um, take stock of your inventory and if you need things, order them now. Most places have got Black Friday sales, so um, I use a brand called Wow Bow Nails, www.wowbownails.com. I'll put the link um, in the description and I'll also put it up on screen there um, they've got Black Friday sale massive massive sale at the moment if you use my code Lisa J W B 10 you get 10% off the sale price as well so now is a really good time to stock up on top coat base coat files um, but also things like sanitizer spray couch roll if you use it um, even things like hand sanitizer hand soap if you have a sink um, little goodies for gift bags if you're gonna do them um, red glitter nail polish, uh, gel polish, um, monomer if you're doing acrylics, um, spare brushes, e-file bits, really really have a look at what you're going to get booked in, what kind of stuff you need and do you have enough to get you through because the last thing you want is to be booking in sets of nail art and you've got no dotting tool or you've got no white gel to do snowflakes or glitter or stickers or whatever it is you use so take stock of your inventory and get on top of it now before the end of this week before the rush and just have it extra nail tips glue all this kind of stuff get on top of it and do it today my next top tip is about preparing your workspace and some of that is going to be mentally some of that is going to be physically so for me um, i have adhd 
and my workspace needs to be the way that I need it to be for my brain to work the way I need it to work so prepare your workspace now if you're in a salon if you're in a home salon if you have a cabin um, give it a deep clean set aside half a day to deep clean everything organize your drawers tidy this could tie into your inventory and your list making for restock and decorate at the same time if you haven't got your Christmas decorations up yet already put them up at the same time deep clean decorate and then plan your next deep clean for when you take your decorations down when it does come to bookings and your booking system, I found something that works for me really well is colour coding my appointments. Now I offer everything from gel polish, builder gel, acro gel, acrylic, full cover systems, nail art and all the rest of it. And on my booking system, um, all of those different services are colour coded. So when I look at my day, I can kind of see what I'm doing and when and it mentally prepares me it may be that I've got build gel first thing in the morning so I'm gonna go in my cabin an hour before my appointment get the heating on and I'm gonna put my build gel in my pocket because it's been cold overnight be prepared what we don't want to do is be back to back all day and be struggling through working through thick build gel or very very cold monomer that just will not set um, let's be prepared think in advance so color coding bookings works for me really well find a way that works for you every single one of your clients is likely to want Christmas nail art and that's absolutely fine but make sure that they're booking it make sure that they're putting it on their booking when they book it make sure that you are letting your clients know consistently if you want nail art one it is chargeable and two I need to allocate the time if you turn up and you've booked a plain gel polish and you want snowflakes and frosty and Santa and elves and gonks and all the rest of it one there just will be no time and you will not get it and you're going to be disappointed and I'm going to be disappointed because I want to paint all that stuff um, and two, it's easily avoidable by just booking the right thing. So make it super clear how to book nail art um, and get your clients to send you pictures beforehand. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I have a policy with my clients and the policy is if you don't send me your design beforehand and it doesn't have to be a complete design, it could be a color scheme, it could be a screenshot, it could be 10 screenshots of things that they want. Um, if you turn up with no design ideas, I'm not a freestyle girly. I will not just do what I like. You'll get hand-painted dicks on your nails. Hand-painted willies will be done on the nails. It is a rule. It has happened and it will happen again. Um, you don't need to necessarily implement that rule, but make sure your clients send you an idea because actually they could turn up with, you know, um, the nativity scene and you could be like, do you know what? I can't paint that. I can't do that. You need to have an idea of what you're doing, how long you think it will take, and if it's possible with your skill set, and your time frame so get them to send them first the last kind of thing when it comes to bookings is to send out reminders if your booking system already does this great that's fabulous some people still working on pen and paper some people are working on messages send out reminders and if you need a reminder to send a reminder set a reminder to remind you to remind them because what we're looking for here is minimizing the chance of no shows minimizing the chance of people turning up at the wrong time now i would argue as a tech that it is not our responsibility to remind adults grown-ups at their big age to turn up to an appointment they booked on time um you know if i book a doctor's appointment I'm going to turn up to my doctor's appointment when it's time for my doctor's appointment and if I miss it then I miss it um, but really what we need to be doing is for our own sake making sure that we're sending reminders with 48 hours notice 24 is not enough 24 hours notice is not enough to rebook that slot 48 hours 72 hours saying you've booked this this service for this time and it is this cost remind them how they can pay is it just cash is it card is it bank transfer whatever make sure people are paying before they leave we are not chasing people for money again no one's going to Tesco's and paying next week when they get paid that's not how it works um, remind them of all these things and tell them that you're looking forward to seeing them at their appointment remind them of your cancellation policy and any fees that are incurred if they do decide to no show or um, cancel last minute so that everyone is on the same page it is going to cut your stress by half I guarantee it 
If you do need any help to solidify your terms and conditions, I have written a course. It's called Bulletproof Your Boundaries, um, and it is available um, on my website. You can do the online only course with one year access. Um, you can buy an unlimited access course, which is online. You can get a 68 page workbook to physically write in if that's more your thing. The online course you can print out as you go as well. Um, you can get a downloadable template with that course of terms and conditions that you literally just adapt um, for yourself. Um, there is lots and lots of help. It takes you through every section. Again, it is not just for nail techs. It is for all beauty businesses, even uh, SPMU artists, tattooists, lash techs, massage therapists, facial skincare, nails, feet, you name it. It's for everybody. But it will take you through every single thing you need to consider and get in. Now, if you want those in place, I would suggest you get the course today, work through it today, um, and get those published send them to every single client and say these are my updated terms and conditions please just let me know that you have read them um, if you grab that course through this um, video i will put a link in the description notes below with a little discount code in um, so you can get some money off of that but this is a great time of year to get those boundaries in place Okay, so from the business over to you, let's talk about some um, self-care techniques. I'm just looking down because I've got some notes here. Um, that's how prepared I am in my car. Um, self-care, so let's talk about the normal stuff. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Make sure you're eating and drinking properly. Make sure that, take some vitamins. I've just started taking some, I say just started. I've actually been taking vitamins on and off for three years now, but um, I've just started taking some new ones, um, just broad spectrum multivitamins for women. Um, they do make a difference. Sometimes we are busy, we don't get to eat properly. Um, so I want something to make sure that I'm getting the right sort of intake. I also have um, bowel disease, so I don't always absorb the right stuff from my food. Um, but they will and do make a difference. So try to have a little think about that. In terms of food and drink, I know that we all work back to back, we all work busy, busy, busy shifts and um, sometimes it's like, oh, I haven't got time to eat or drink. Now, that is just failing to plan and prepare and what we want to do is be prepared and not be running on fumes, you can't pour from an empty cup and all that kind of stuff. So why don't you get yourself some meal replacement shakes and um, protein bars and that kind of stuff. Okay, um, slight change of scenery. All my errands have been finished. I've popped home to uh, spend an hour or two on the sofa doing admin with the dog. Um, so I'm gonna continue the video from here. So we were up to getting things like meal replacement shakes. If you know you're gonna have a full day back to back and you're not gonna have time to eat, grab yourself some protein shakes, some meal replacement shakes. There are companies like Huel that do um, really good um, replacements, Things, even things like SlimFast. Um, so you can essentially drink your food. Um, you wanna have bottles of water, you wanna have lidded cups, make sure that you've got drinks and stuff on the go, energy drinks if you want. And if you're a hot drink fan, why don't you make yourself a flask great big flask of coffee or tea or hot chocolate or whatever it is you drink in the morning and have it ready on the side and all you've got to do is pour out a hot drink most of these flasks will keep stuff hot for 10 to 12 hours um if you're making a good two to three liters of coffee or whatever that will last you the day it's very hard making this when these this guy is being so cute look oh my god so sweet um Think about things like your posture. Think about things like having um, a hot water bottle that you can put behind your back, um, having extra cushions on your chair while you work, um, anything to make your posture, your sitting position much more comfortable. Um, try to remember to do certain stretches in between each client. So if you need a reminder to do that, then pop yourself a little post-it or something like that. But you need to be getting up, you need to stretch, you need to stretch up, you need to stretch down, um, stretch for your hands and your wrists um, as well, because you're gonna seize up, you're gonna get stiff. Okay, so the last thing on the list is gonna be glasses. If you wear glasses, please wear them. 
the amount of eye strain that people get over this time of year because it's dark outside so you're relying more on your internal light um, you're doing a lot more nail art than probably usual in a session um, if you usually have eight clients in a day maybe half of them would normally have nail art this time of year it's going to be seven out of eight if not eight probably um, if you wear glasses wear them if you don't wear glasses but you think you might need them if you're getting headaches you're getting eye strain go and book yourself in now there are plenty of places that will have availability and get them you can get glasses turned around within a week um, get them now now is the day to start taking action yes that is that is the last one I think okay so thank you so much for watching my video for this wisdom Wednesday to really get you prepared for this coming season I am going to put together a checklist a tick sheet that you can um, get emailed to you um, look out for that the link I'm hoping should be somewhere hanging about if not go and look for it on uh, the website or on uh, my social media which I will pop here and here and uh, maybe here um, or you could just email me which I'll put on on the bottom as well um, for that checklist just to make sure that you are ticking all the boxes to get yourself ready for the festive season hopefully you have a fabulous December I will keep on with the wisdom Wednesdays all the way through December and all the way through next year as I said if you haven't joined the no bullshit now club on Facebook do go and join it it's no bullshit now club support and I will see you then as always if you have any questions or queries message me and if you've got any ideas for videos do let me know as well and I will see you later bye